Hey everyone, it's Jordan, the Millionaire Millennial. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so and click that bell so you can be notified anytime that I release a new video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about whether or not you should have multiple brands or just one big brand that encompasses all of your different products. And in this video, I'm going to be answering that question. So let's say you're already selling a product in the kitchen and dining category and you have a brand named called Luoni. And Luoni is the brand that you make for your, let's say you have a pasta maker, right? So you have a spaghetti pasta maker and its brand is Luoni. But you found a new product that is in sports and outdoors that is a camping hammock. And you're like, I don't really know if I should brand this Luoni camping hammocks because that just doesn't make sense. Luoni sounds more like a kitchen and dining brand. And it really doesn't make sense to use it with a sports and outdoors. So the big question is, should I make a new brand for my new product in this new category? And that's a really good question. A lot of sellers disagree on this point. A lot of people say that you need multiple brands. Some people say you just need one brand. And I'm going to give you my personal opinion on it, but I'm also going to give you advice on some other people's opinions that differ from my own. My personal opinion is that it's completely okay, and in fact probably necessary, to have multiple brands for different categories. So if you've got products in the kitchen and dining category, but you want to branch out and sell products in the sports and outdoors category, it's completely acceptable to make a new brand name for those products. But keep in mind the repercussions of creating a new brand. If you already have your brand registered on Amazon and you already have a trademark for that brand, your new products under your new brand name are not going to be covered by that other trademark or by that other brand registry in Amazon. So if you do start a new brand, you don't need to register a trademark and you don't need to register with Amazon's brand registry, but just keep in mind you won't have all the advantages that an Amazon brand registered product comes with. This includes enhanced brand content as well as using ASIN numbers instead of UPCs. So you will have to buy UPCs for every single product that you launch in another brand. But I know a lot of successful sellers that have multiple brands and all their brands are trademarked and they're all under brand registry and they're all protected. This is not something you have to do, especially when you first start selling. You don't need to register a brand. You don't need to get a trademark or anything like that. You can just make up a brand and start selling it. But as you get more sales, you might want to secure your brand name so no one else can copy it or no one else can use it. And at that point, you'd want to look into getting a trademark. Now there are a lot of people that disagree with that and say that you really only need one overarching brand that covers all of your products. And they would say to pick a very generic sounding brand name, something like maybe Great Deals or Good Times or something like that, something that's super generic and could be used for every category. Um, and to be completely honest with you, it really doesn't matter either way. You could have an overarching brand that covers all your products. In that case, you would only need one trademark to cover all of your products. But for me, I like to categorize things and keep things organized under multiple brand names. And I think that makes more sense to the customer. When you see something that is a brand name that sounds like it makes sense with that category, you're more likely to buy it versus if you hear something that's a super generic name and you're just like, I've never even heard of this brand and it just sounds super generic. It kind of might even sound like a scam, like great deals. Like if you see a spaghetti maker and it's called Great Deals Spaghetti Maker, and that doesn't sound as legit as something like Luoni Spaghetti Maker because Luoni sounds like a, you know, like an Italian surname and, you know, spaghetti in Italy kind of go hand in hand, obviously. So from a customer's perspective, it just makes more sense to have a brand that is in the category that you're selling for. You can even go further and have a brand that's tied to a particular product. You could have multiple products in the same category, but all with different brand names. And that's totally okay too. It really just depends on how you want to structure your business and what you want to do. But like I said, I recommend having multiple brands for different categories and maybe even different products. But either way that you decide, it's not going to make a huge difference, but it's always the little things that customers see. So everyone, I hope this video helped you out and I hope it answers some of your questions and I'll see you guys in my next video.